Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Sequoia. Now this is a tree and vegetation add-on. Doesn't look like most of the ones that we've talked about because of how you get to work with it, but it is actually an amazing one that you should check out. Now the beautiful thing about this is the folks at 3D Mansion Studio have made this add-on in such a way that you can create and manipulate this add-on however you choose by simply working with the Blender Particle System. Now, this is one of the most unique things about it. The loading time as well is extremely fast and also you'll be able to get about 130 plus different kinds of vegetation and stuff with this particular add-on. So there is just a whole lot of things that you can come through and check out for this one. And of course, if you'd like to check it out, there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here. Now, with that said, we're going to dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this add-on actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, once you download the add-on, this is what you need to do. You need to go over to edit, go over to preference, install it. Now, once you're done installing it, you need to also make sure that you insert your database part. This is extremely important. Once you download this add-on, it's gonna come in as a zip. You need to unzip it and you'll find two files. The first file is the file you install. The second file is a Blender file, which you need to attach to this part. Now, once you have that ready, save your preference and close. And with that there, we need to go in, press N on the keyboard and right over here, you would notice we have the Sequoia. Now, how this one works is very, very easy. Let's throw in a plane, scale this plane all the way up. And then if you click on this drop down, you'd notice you have a couple of trees and grass collections that you can use. So for example, if we like to train some grasses, we need to select the grass section and we can click on any of the grasses which you want. So let's select some clovers and you can click on add elements. Now there is one thing you would notice. I did try this severally. I don't know if it's the version of Blender I'm using, but in most cases you get this error that says go to last, which is since there's no extra layer, you need to click on the word reset and purge on use data blocks and then add again. And that way it's definitely gonna add stuff. So just in case you come across this error, that is how you fix it. So once you have that done, the next thing which you need to do is let's scale this all the way up. You can increase the numbers, which is good. You can play with the size, which is perfect. You can randomize the orientation. You can play with the size, depending on what you want. You can also play with the rotation as well. But this is where this add-on actually shines even way more. So now that you have this here, unlike every other add-on that deals with vegetation, where you just have to second guess or go in and start painting stuff, this one, works with the particle system so if we click on draw on or off it shows up this particle system which you can use to draw where you want things to be so it's not like you're calculating a map or something you're just using the very default blender particle system to get things working so we can have this there and if we want to cut some parts out we can cut this part out like so looking pretty already so we can also do some more here some more here some more here and some more right here so once you're done with this Next thing which you need to do is click on this button one more time and then you can preview this. And of course, you would notice that you have your grasses right there. If you want to clean these ones up as well, click on the surface, click on draw, select cut, cut it out, and then turn that off real fast, really, really fast. I mean, this is one of the things about this add-on that I love. You want to have something happening within your viewport rapidly, you select it and it is good to go. So. Next thing which you might want to do is to add a next layer. So this is how this thing works. This works like a layer based system tool, which makes sense. So you can add a next layer and now you're dealing with a different thing altogether. So we can also go in, click on the drop down button, go over to the tree collection, find any tree that we want. Maybe we want to get some elem and then we can click on add element and it's going to add those elements right here. Now you can see that elements looks a little bit big and we don't want them to be the same size so we can randomize the size. I love the fact that you can do this randomization stuff. Perfect. You can increase the numbers, reduce the numbers, or you can simply click on randomization. Now, if you also want to cut things down, you want to increase stuff, this is up to you. You can do that. We can also play with the size, you know, get like the general size down and randomize the size based off the general size that we have. So in this case, we can have that there and we can also go in and painting some more. It's just a joy to work with, right? It's a joy to work with. I can increase the radius and I can drop the counts just a bit down. Actually, let's uh, reduce that radius and we can have this going. Let's paint in some more stuff. Let's take this down. 
and increase that radius just about a point like that good so we can have this there we can have this ones here we can have this ones here have this ones here and this is already looking perfect so you know we can have all of these beautiful bad boys right here so in this case once you're done click on this button and there you have it so you can see how easy it is for you to just simply go in and populate your scene so we have a couple of things going on there so let's get rid of those turn this off and you can see it so depending on the number of trees you want to throw in this is just super easy to work with add a new layer select what you want in this case rocks draw in the rocks you want click on add element it adds the rock right there and you can go in and tweak this rock and actually play with them however you want the same thing goes for the tropical collection the same thing goes for the tree collections the same thing goes for the grasses basically anything you want you can have it this add-on is extremely easy to use it doesn't eat up your processor it just makes life easy and for anyone who's thinking about getting a tree or vegetation add-on that doesn't you know demand so much for their computer to actually just calculate and get them something that they can use then you should consider checking this one out now despite the draw section there is also an extra control section now within this extra control section you can play with the amount of things to be displayed so we can increase all right so let's say you want to increase the amount of rocks you can increase the amount of rocks and then this is for your display and then you can also play with that same you know amount for your render so just in case you want to have the amount within your viewport to be set to zero you can do that and then maybe for your rendering you want to make that more you can also do this and this is also one other way of saving on your viewport performance and giving you something worthy of your quality so what i would suggest is you can use this to test out what you would be getting at the end of the day and then you can set it back to zero and set that number right here so in terms of spreading as well you can also use this to play with randomization and of course you can do some more stuff with this now depending on what you want you can even get some more options with this so you can set this to non simple interpolated and this is just beautiful now there is a whole lot of things that you can get with this add-on and we're just barely scratching the surface of things that you can do with this so if you're looking for a vegetation add-on that offers you grasses tropical trees tree collections rock collections and save your memory from crashing or you know that is quite light to work with and that is also supported for both ev and cycles then you should consider checking out the sequoia add-on which is pretty pretty nice to work with and that's about it for those who like to take a look at this there's going to be a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check it out and one more thing which i forgot to mention is you can also proceed to animate this however you want so depending on what you want to do you can keyframe setting parameters and animate this so in case you want to make things like an animated tree growing or maybe you just want to have your trees animate for some reason then this is something that is also super possible that the sequoia add-on can get you up to speed with and of course for those who like to check out some of the things that they have within their storefront you can also go over to the 3d mansion studio storefront and check out some of the amazing things that they have to offer and that's about it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys in the next one peace